Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's game over for GameStop. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Probably, th probably. Probably. To be honest, um, probably. So GameStop has closed all of its stores. Uh, this just came in today. After yesterday, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania forced them to shut down. They actually took their business license away. Yeah, we are, we are from PA. So we saw this because they, yeah, the governor took their uh, business license away to, to force them to close. Yeah. Now I guess I guess that little piece of paper that said to call corporate really didn't work no. uh, for them very well. So we're gonna talk about GameStop, what this could potentially mean for the franchise. I don't think it's gonna be good. And uh, I guess I guess what happens next. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants if you haven't done so already. We've been following the GameStop situation because it is a very unique situation in that GameStop tried to declare itself essential <laughs> uh, to stay in business. GameStop tried to declare itself essential. Now, this whole situation has been catastrophic for retail. Yes. I mean, it absolutely has. And I am not uh, wishing anybody to be no, out of work. No, not at all. At all. Um, you know, we've got some good friends been talking to that, like, the, the retail landscape is completely destroyed and we don't want to see gamestop closed forever no 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 there is a place for gamestop i mean personally i would like to see them transition to more of like a, a retro type mm -hmm. store you know sell some retro stuff and maybe some classic games um but you know look it's this is the new normal for now that uh every non-essential retailer is being shut down and uh, frankly there are so many more retailers out there that are more essential than GameStop. Yes. <laughs> well, let's be honest, you know, and uh, I understand why they did it, uh, why they, they fought it, because they knew if they shut down, they probably would not get back up again. Mm -hmm. And that might be the case. Uh, but now they're shutting all their stores down. So we'll just backtrack a little bit here. And this is how we, we knew uh, the end was near for GameStop, because you found this uh, yesterday. Yes that GameStop closed all the stores in Pennsylvania. Again, mm -hmm. we're in Pennsylvania. Yep. And uh, there are quite a few GameStops in the Pittsburgh area, mm -hmm. and uh, they've stopped. Yes. So um, they actually had to go. So this is coming from uh, Twitter. GameStop, okay, this was uh, on the 19th. The GameStop was actually telling law enforcement that uh, they were essential. They were supposed to hand right. them a little piece of paper. That a, yes, here, due to the, to the products we carry that enable and enhance our customers' experiences in working from home, reads the memo, we believe GameStop is classified as essential retail and therefore is able to remain open during this time. We have received reports of local authorities visiting stores in an attempt to enforce closure despite our classification. Store managers are approved to provide the document linked below to law enforcement as needed. And it basically said, call corporate. Well, that didn't work very well. <laughs> no. Uh, it didn't work very well. <laughs> well, I thought it would. So Governor Tom Wolf of Pennsylvania, who, uh, you know, some people are critical of him because they said he's gone overboard. He basically shut down all non-essential businesses. Mm -hmm. um, originally, it was a recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. At first, he said it was recommended they weren't going to enforce it. And then they're like, mm, people weren't listening. So they said they were going to have to do something. Yeah. We can vouch that they weren't listening because there was more traffic on the street. Mm hmm than there ever has been. And I was just like, where are all these people coming from? Where are they all going to? Yeah. You know, the grocery store, there's no toilet paper. Where are you guys going? Go go home, watch Netflix, if you can. If you can, yes. If there's another video on that, go look. But uh, yeah, Governor Tom Wolf uh, is not leaving it up to GameStop or any other retailer in the state. His office is not taking risks. Uh, he outlined in a newly updated industry operations guidance classification, which he actually had uh, a list of literally yep. every business segment. Is it necessary? Is it's it not yes necessary? Yes or no? Yes. So in a Reddit post appears that not only will GameStop not be considered essential, but won't even get the chance to combat the ruling uh, because its operating permit has been suspended until further notice in Pennsylvania. Do not remove this sign. This is a bigger piece of paper than what the employees were handing <laughs> yeah, out apparently. to the officers. Notice of closure. Notice is hereby given that as of this date, the operating permit license of GameStop is immediately suspended. Until otherwise notified, do not enter the location without proper protective attire, including a respirator mask. So now yeah. they're like scaring people away from GameStop. Like, oh my God, it's got the cooties. <laughs> oh my God, the cooties um, yeah. It does. So yeah, they're they're done they're done so not long after this which we knew was going to happen we knew as soon as he said it was going to be mandatory that you yeah, shut these non-essentials down now they're they're closing everything and they realized they weren't going to win they weren't going to win so gamestop will close all of its storefronts starting sunday following outcry from employees and calls from lawmakers to stay at home 
Uh, though the stores will be closed to customers, GameStop will process orders on a digital only basis, moving to curbside pickup at stores and deliveries in the states where you can still do that. Right, PA, you can't do that clearly because they shut the whole thing down. Well, that was like I was talking about New Dimension Comics and they had, you know, they had sent out a very sad, now they own like six comic shops in mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. I think they might actually be the largest like comic franchise in Pittsburgh. And they sent out an email saying that they're afraid if they close, they weren't going to open back up again. But then they were all happy. They're like, hey, we can do curbside. And now I don't think they can even do that. They're like, hey, we can do eBay. Well, some of the other stores are being allowed to, so maybe they'll let them if they follow guidelines. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so this is this is uh, coming from GameStop. This is a very different a very different tone than what they took last week, where they're like, screw the popo. Yeah. Uh, now they're like, this is an unprecedented time, and each day brings new information about that thing we can't talk about. Our priority has been and continues to be on the well-being of our employees, <laughs> customers, and business partners. We have been steadfast in our adherence to the guidelines. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, sure you have. Sure you have. Oh, my. We've been steadfast in local government orders for retailers in each of our communities. We have tried to brush right up against the rules. We might have stuck our toe over to see what you do and then stuck our foot over to see what you do. We jumped over it back and forth just for kicks and giggles. <laughs> the line. We... Yeah, it's like, oh, we're here. Oh, now we're here. Oh, oh, we're here. How far can you go before they, they tackle you to the ground? It's kind of like that. Yeah, they were playing hopscotch on the, the, the line. They crossed the line. They crossed the line. So stores had remained open in several states that ordered non-essential retail to close, including New York and New Jersey. Starting Friday, the game retailer began to close stores in California and Pennsylvania. Again, we're in one of the few states, I guess, it's on, like, complete lockdown. Yeah. And it's been catastrophic, guys. I mean, for the economy, it's been absolutely But they're trying to stop it because on the eastern side of the state, they have a lot of cases, and they're close to New York, and they don't want what's in New York to come into PA. So they're kind of trying to stop that. Yeah. And, you know, I'm okay with it because uh, I have asthma, and I'd rather not end up dead. So, um I'd rather that not happen. Or at so. least very, very sick and in the hospital. So yeah. um, I'm trying to, to stick to the house. Yeah, we've, we, yeah, we're, well, I mean, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully we work at home. We've been working at home for a while and the kids are in cyber. So it hasn't, for us, it really hasn't changed much, except we don't go to Walmart <laughs> as, <laughs> often, know, as often, but uh, coffee at McDonald's, you know, yeah, other than that, it hasn't really changed a whole lot for us. We're very, very lucky in that regard. A lot yeah. of people, a lot of friends not. are, are not as lucky so yeah when you think we're making light of it we're not we we're not. are actually at all because we we know we're very aware of what's going on it's discussions we have all day yeah about how we're so worried about what's going to happen for jobs and for the economy and for um friends of ours and how people are going to handle things and what happens you know, i was talking to mom you're talking about how they're going to give out they want to do that 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 check to give people so much money yeah you know well they're, if they're going by tax returns there are people who don't file tax returns because they didn't make enough to file it they're the ones who need the money the most they might not what if they don't get any or you know some of these different programs unemployment it's only it's available but you have to usually work a, so, a certain amount of time so yeah. i don't know if they're waiving that or something someone might have just got a job been there a couple months and they're like yeah i got a job and then you know they're just pulling out of an issue they were already in now they're gonna be back into it it's not it, it's a really bad thing yeah and you know retail workers especially because a lot of retail workers i think i think i'm not 100 percent sure but in pennsylvania i think unemployment i think you have to have been at the job for six months i want to say you have to have been there for six months no they're waving that i don't know uh, i don't know it's been a long time since I've been, I've been laid off but i think you had to be there for six months and a lot of retail workers aren't you know a lot of hospitality workers aren't you know they tend to you know not not be at those jobs at least not here long. i mean they might be more so in a place state like florida where like they work for yeah. a place like disney for years yeah. but um, yeah, so we are well aware of the situation. We don't think, we are not making light of it by any means. No, not um, at all. But most places are, are, you know, complying with guidelines and they're doing what they can to help their people and uh, try to, you know, find a way around this. And then you have GameStop, <laughs> so. Oh my God, well, this is what they're talking about. They're talking about, you know, trying to classify themselves as essential. Now, this is one of their uh, game advisors in Athens, Georgia said, that's absolutely ridiculous. If someone's trying to work from home, they don't want the $85 Razer keyboard or we have the $60 Razer mouse, some cheap $20 Microsoft something is gonna get them by just fine. Um, they can get that at Walmart. They can get that at any of these other stores that also have groceries and are arguably much more essential to being open right now. Um, Athens opened on Friday morning, even though the county is under a shelter in place order. So yeah, I mean now Wait, we got the police went to the store. 
Police went to the store for afternoon to order that shutdown. They shut up in GameStop. Employees at 11 page ordinance that included a list of essential businesses, which we, we talked about the ordinance. And there, I'm, I'm relieved, said Carson. No one needs to get sick or die with video games. They're not essential items. That That is unfortunately true. Now, here's the thing. These guys also picked up a copy of Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing. <laughs> this guy is Doom Eternal. Definitely look at that that killer killer side. And this guy is definitely Animal Crossing. There In fact, go. he looks like Tom Nook. <laughs> um, of course, he's making that up. All of it. No, he looks like Tom Nook. No, I know. That's not the part, that's not the part I think uh, you're making up. I'm not making it up at all. They, 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 you made up the fact that they bought the games. Yes. they uh, that, that, Yeah, that would be kind of funny. Like, we're gonna we're in here to shut you down. And also, could I get a copy of Doom Eternal? Thanks. You no, know, the kicker is it's probably the opposite way. And you just got it wrong. I did. Like, oh, they went in for... Look at, they've got 90s X-Men figures. He's this. probably... I mean, it, honestly, he probably is the Animal Crossing guy. And he probably is the Doom Eternal guy. Probably. Um, if, Pro if we're going based on reality. Yeah, I, I, you know, I have no idea. I'm just making this guy right just now. looks like he could kick more ass. I'm just saying. He look at that look at that cold stare and it's like he they don't look amused. I wonder what they went through before this picture because <laughs> they look less than amused. Or are they were they like yeah they were like you know yeah guys sorry and then let's take a picture and we have to look official for the photo so we don't get in trouble. <laughs> mm. And then after the photo was done they're like hey guys we're so sorry you know what what you got new in here Ooh, you know pop vinyls you know or something. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they have they can't look like they're smiling they're just shutting them down. Oh God so this is the thing um. You know, and I, look, the employees even know. The employees know that games are not essential. And even now, like, you can download pretty much everything. Yeah. Now, I mean, if you want to keep GameStop in business, you can always buy online. But what's going to happen is it'll be like, well, why do we need our stores and all that overhead? And we can just do it online. That'd yeah. be the next thing. But um, And it's going to be an Amazon Walmart world. It already is. Pretty much. But that's, that's what's going to happen. I mean, this is sad, too. This is really sad. Uh, I think I've cried every day since Monday. I'm trying not to cry in front of my staff, said a longtime store leader in Jersey who didn't want to be identified for fear of being fired. I feel very much like a pawn. It doesn't matter what the staff on the ground does. They're just expendable. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, for them, for GameStop, look, I gotta say, for them to come out and be like, oh, guys, we were gonna follow the law honest. We were, yeah, sure, sure we were, you know? I bad the cops had to go in there and put in, be put in harm's way, too, because, you know... But this is the thing right here, and this is where it, it gets really hard. Most employees express they believe GameStop should close the stores, uh, said someone in Virginia. I do believe that they should stay open with unemployment buckling under the weight of the layoffs. I can't see a way to earn income at this moment in time. That's what we're worried about. I need this job. That's that's what, what we personally are, are concerned about, is the people that um, need the work and they, they have to go home. Yeah, but it's it's a really it's a really slippery slope, guys. I don't want to tell you. It's like they're trying to stop the spread. People keep going out, which is not good. The flip side is um, people need to work. How are they supposed to pay their bills? Um, Thousand dollar stimulus check isn't going to do jack no, shit. No, exactly. People. And you know, I, I, mean, I they're going to try to waive like or like well postpone you know payments for utilities and things like that. But you still got to pay it. It just means that when it comes due, they're going to want all of it at once, and you're not going to have time to make the money back. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, so Pennsylvania has a thing. I don't know if other states have it or not, but they basically put a moratorium on utility shutoffs in the winter because mm -hmm. you know it gets really freaking cold here. So they won't shut your heat off or your electric off or your water off but by god you know on uh april 1st or may 1st or whenever the moratorium is up they want the whole damn thing mm -hmm. like like that or you're you're gonna be shut off within two weeks mm -hmm. you know so um i don't know if it's gonna work that way or not but um you know it's sad i feel bad for the employees i really do i feel bad all the way around because they were put in a very bad position mm -hmm. and you know it's no one's fault really it's just that the way it's just you know something no one can control and you know no one wants to see GameStop go under no, um, they don't. But but I don't want to see people put in danger either. And, and I think they're going to go under. I mean, I think it's it's unavoidable at this point. GameStop was hanging on by its fingertips. And we saw this in 2008 with the recession, which arguably is not even in the same ballpark as what's going on mm -hmm. now. Uh, you know, we didn't have retail stores just like closing indefinitely, mm -hmm. not by their own choice no, either. No, no. But we saw it took out companies that were already weak. You know, it took out, uh, you know, Circuit City and Borders and uh, there were a bunch of other retailers that went out in 2008. Um, a lot of you know places like Sears and Macy's. That was kind of like the kiss of death, you know, for them. And you know, Sears and Kmart are almost extinct now. I don't know if any are left open. Most of them are closed. And I think the same is going to happen to GameStop. You might have a couple of GameStops, but I don't think they're going to be on 
nearly as many. They were already shutting them down around here. Right. Yeah. The one that was closest to us is already gone. So, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I know that there are a lot of places hiring right now. If you're all these people who have been laid off, you can go get a job. Places are hiring, like, for uh, delivery people yeah. or grocery stores. I know right here they're putting the word out, we need help, we need help. So you could put maybe apply for those jobs. I mean, if you're not really concerned about being exposed, uh, you just want to worry about money, you can uh, apply for some of those uh, essential, you know, jobs and, you know, get those and there you'd have a job in the interim. Yeah. But... I mean, I could I could see people being able to you know hop from GameStop to Walmart pretty mm -hmm. easy too. You know, the if electronics department or something. If you can. I mean, if you're if you're worried, if you're a person that I know a lot of people that working there wanted it closed down because they were concerned and wanted yeah. to go home and not be exposed. If you're one of those people, then you know you get to go home now. So there's good news for you there. But I don't even want to tell people. I feel so bad the whole way around. I, I don't even know. We're watching the entertainment industry like collapse in real time. And we complain about it, but we didn't want the whole thing to collapse. We wanted we wanted effective change. Um, which Disney missed that memo, uh, especially when it comes to Star Wars. But um, no one wants to see it implode. That's not what anybody has ever said. No, I mean, the people out there that are on the, the ground level, they're just following marching orders, you know? Um, and it's it's sad because we're going to see a lot of very hard decisions being made. I, I think GameStop was holding on for a hero. They were holding out for Reggie. They were hoping Reggie was going to come in and fix it. I don't think there's going to be any, I don't think there's going to be any GameStop left to fix at this point. They closed every, even the stores that didn't need to shut down, they shut them down. Yeah. Like they could have had stores in like Montana or something that. I well, don't I don't know. Do they have, I don't know what they have going on with them. So I don't know. But I, I don't there know. are some states that have, uh, no cases and they they don't have they're not under a shutdown and they could have stayed open but they shut them all down so. yeah so it's it's probably i mean i could be wrong i hope i'm wrong for the sake of the employees but i personally think this is probably game over for gamestop especially if the shutdown lasts for like two months mm -hmm. there's just no way there's no way um all right so we're gonna wrap it up yeah no i'm sad i'm sorry i'm sorry uh all right so please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants and we will talk to you guys later bye Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.